Starting the trail, the Kai Bob Trail here. Um, the switchbacks are pretty crazy right away, especially with snow. But uh, so far, so good. First time seeing the Grand Canyon in IRL. Um, quite fucking amazing. So, here's part of it.
little we're on a little jutty here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what will happen? Death. Death on either side. Yeah. The trail goes down this way. Yeah. Good, how are you? Good. So we probably did what? About a mile of mud. About a mile of mud. I'll take the snow any day, but this is cool. We got this to look forward to. Our feet are just all muddy. No. Anyways, yeah, it was about a mile of mud. Like, what shit. top of the rim there's several feet of snow and it's fucking like zero degrees out so I bought I lost my jacket in the airport I went to go get a new jacket I won't say how much I paid for it but I got one here 
at the village and I knew this was gonna happen. I'm in my t-shirt. I know tonight we're gonna stay we're staying the next two nights in the in the canyon here. But I knew I knew the it was gonna get warmer down here by 20, 30 degrees and I'm sweating my balls off. I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna get cold tonight, but I have not used my jacket yet. Maybe for sleeping. But we'll see how it goes when we get down there. We're over halfway and it's been about two miles of mud and it's hard to film in this. So we got a little relief here. That's why I'm filming right now. So I'll film a little bit more. You comfy there, buddy? Yeah. We came from that little point of the rock up there. But on the other side of that, around the ridge there, way back there. So that's all zigzags or th uh, switchbacks down, even up to there. And when he, oh, you can even see the ridge over here. But yeah, we were up there. Oh, I forgot. Why do they call it Skeleton Point? Good place to hide bodies. Are you going to die, Robert? Are we going down this way? Oh yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. How you doing? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. You having fun? I'm having fun. You enjoying it? I am enjoying it. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. Aww. And you look like you did coke. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And we're going down this way. And then it goes. And then it goes over on that side and goes. So those are the switchbacks we saw on the south side. Now we're on the jetty coming out and going down. Jesus. Colorado, we finally see the Colorado right down there. And that's far down. Yeah. There's my baby. Hey, we could sleep under that if we wanted to. There's 
switchbacks. There's the bridge down there. to the Colorado River. Woo! Yep. We are about to cross and uh, Bright, State, Bright Angel Camp. Is it Bright Angel Campsite? And then uh, get some more water. And rest my knees, or my right knee. Kills. Renee's going into the darkness. You got a light going on there? This is crazy. Here we go, Robert. We're going on the bridge. So we're going on the bridge. We made it. You got a picture of that? This is, yes, this is where the lizard people live. We are on the Colorado River, crossing it right now. Oh, that's so cool. As you see down here, oh, somebody's got a tent set up down there. Pretty neat.
Oh, somebody's comfy. How's my hair this morning? Stunning. Yeah? Project runway. Strut your stuff. Uh, ain't no showers here, so. I mean, maybe up in Phantom Ranch, but not here. They have everything over there. That, that was a little freaky, right?
Thank you, Rick. How you feeling, buddy? It's not as bad as I thought it would be, actually. Uh, we're not quite all the way up there yet, but we're on the Devil's Corkscrew, and we were. two of the Grand Canyon hike. We have made it to Havasupai Gardens, which formerly known as Indian Gardens. And I think it was, well, we, we uh, from yesterday we started at Kaibab Trail and went down. And it loops around a Bright Angel Trail. We stayed at Bright Angel Trail Phantom Ranch last night. And I'll tell you what, that hike going down sucked. Um, it was really hard on my right knee, which doesn't like going downhill. And two miles of it was really soupy muddy and navigating that with going downhill made it even tougher, more tough, tougher, more tough. So about three quarters of the way through my knee started feeling really bad and we got to camp and I was like, I don't know. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about hiking tomorrow. And, uh, I put some painkiller, took some ibuprofen, put some cooling gel on it, and I uh, woke up. Next day, we, we, I mean, we sat and had dinner, went to bed, woke up, and I was doubting myself <clears throat> whether I could do the hike up here from down there. And uh, I just started moving around. I was, we're, all of us were really sore. Um, but I, we made the decision to instead of staying over one more night at uh bright angel campgrounds phantom ranch we decided to come up today to um have a soup pie and stay the night and i'm glad we did because today actually turned out to be a really wonderful trip and the hike up was awesome everything turned out well the knee didn't hurt because it's going uphill and i prefer that anyways so um we made it here and we're camp we uh decided on a camp and uh, we're gonna get unloaded and cook some food and maybe have some coffee. I don't know, who knows, we'll see what happens. But we're here and I'm happy we did the hike today instead of waiting till tomorrow. We're probably gonna get out a day early. Uh, we were scheduled to be here till Saturday. It is Thursday, we'll leave tomorrow. We still have another 4.5 to go up, but these kids are setting up tents already. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that we did the trek today. The, the, the hike was awesome. I mean, yesterday was awesome too, um, but going downhill just really was taxing on all of us and my right knee even, even more so. And I have my workers here. Thank you, workers. Worker you peasants. So yeah, excited. It was a good day hike. Yesterday was a good day hike. Today was even better. Was, 
cold. It's gonna get cold, but we'll survive with chocolates and coffee. <laughs> Five deer. Beautiful view here. Yeah, if you guys want to come up later and watch this ascent, as this train goes down. Yeah, yeah. It's, like you see the different pieces. Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. Is that the trail to the lookout point over that right there? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know, close to a mile up. And here is we were down there we were camping in that area over there. <sighs> Take a little breather. And then we're going up around this thing. Three, almost three miles up. Right? right? Another mile and a half, two miles to go. That's all right. Fingers in the way. We're on the last leg of the hike. One point five, well, less than one point five mile, but right now we're gonna go up here. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Into that little boop, boop. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
up in that way. Was that, was that bad? We're gonna take it. Take two. <laughs> we're, gonna take this. we're on the last leg. <laughs> Less than 1.5 miles now. And it's gonna go right up into that little, we're gonna go boop, 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 into that little. Right into there. We did it, baby. Woo! It's a checkered flag, woo! Atta boy. Good job. We did it. We completed our hike from Kaibab to Great Angel. Oh, fellow humper. So happy.